Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up OpenLDAP for Linux environment. OpenLDAP is an implementation of the Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, the equivalent of Windows Server Active Directory. I will not explain what LDAP is. I assume you are already familiar with the basic concepts. I will show how to set up OpenLDAP server, create and edit entries with command line and with GUI, set up OpenLDAP client, and encrypt the communications with StarTLS. Before I install OpenLDAP, I will modify the hostem to include FQDN. Now I will install OpenLDAP. Set administrator password. and enable and start the service. With OpenLDAP installed, we will want to manage the schema. This is done with LDAP commands. Let's list all the entries in the schema with LDAP search. Because this is a fresh installation of open LDAP, there is not much here. Only the organization and the admin user. To create an entry, we will create an LD file with information about the new entry and run the LDAP modify command with the LD file as an argument. Let's add some entries. I will add a new OU and call it users. I will run LDAP modify with the LD file as an argument. Let's run LDAP search again. And here is the new OU. Let's create groups OU. Let's create a group inside the group's OU. And let's create a user inside users OU. Let's give him a username, UID number, the 
the GID number we created. Here is the user. To modify entries, we will also use LD files and the LDAP modify command. We can add, replace, or delete attributes. Let's modify the user we created. I will add employee number attribute. Here is the new attribute. I will now delete the new attribute. The employee number attribute is gone. To remove entries, I will use the LDAP delete command. And the DN of the entry I want to delete. The user is gone. So I will recreate it. Technically, you can manage your open LDAP schema from the command line. Some administrators will tell you this is the way to go. However, if you prefer GUI, let me show how to install and use the old and good PHP LDAP admin. We will have to modify the schema base in the config file. Enable and start the Apache service. and browse to the address of the LDAP server. In PHP LDAP admin, 
you can see all the entries we created earlier with the command line. Let's create a user with PHP LDAP admin. If we will run LDAP search from the command line, we will see the user we created with PHP LDAP admin. After we installed Open LDAP Server and created users, let's configure a client to enable login for the LDAP users. I will demonstrate on the Linux Mint client, but the process is the same for other distributions. First, I will modify the host name to include the FQDN of the LDAP server. Now let's install the open LDAP client. Enter the hostname or IP address of the LDAP server. The base is the same as the FQDN we set earlier. And select password, group and shadow. Now let's update PAM to enable LDAP logins. Select LDAP authentication and create home directory on login. That's it, let's reboot. Let's try to login with one of the users we created earlier. We had configured open LDAP server and client and logged in with an LDAP user. But there is a problem with this setup. I will capture packets between the LDAP server and client and log in with an LDAP user. Because by default the communication between open LDAP server and clients is unencrypted, usernames and passwords are passed in plain text. This is a big problem if a man in the middle can get sensitive information. To encrypt the communication between open LDAP server and clients, we will have to create an RSA keeper and configure it into the schema. In this example, I will create a self-signed certificate with the current IP address of the LDAP server. In a production server, you would probably use a CA and the hostname of the server. We 
we must change the owner of the key and certificate to open LDAP. And we have to modify the schema to include the location of the certificates and the private key. This is done with an LD file and the LDAP modify command. Because this is a self-signed certificate, the CA and certificate are the same. Finally, we will modify the LDAP config file. and restart the service. We also have to modify the client's configuration to encrypt the communication with the server. I copy the certificate to the SSL directory of the client. We have to modify the nslcd config file. And reboot. Now let's see if it worked. I will again capture packets between the server and the client. And log in with an LDAP user. This time, there are no login names or passwords in plain text. And this is the end of this open LDAP tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.